excuse me. Uh, this is Daily Devotions for uh, September 1st, 2020. Uh, sorry, I was listening to a rock. Um, today's devotion is not from the Bible. Uh, it is from my imagination. Um, if it were from the Bible, I would ask you to believe that it is true. But since this is from my imagination, I'm only asking you uh, to imagine if my story told were true. Well, the story that my imagination has told me begins three days uh, before Jesus comes to Jerusalem. And it begins this way, uh, that there were rocks that were deep underground, big, heavy rocks. Uh, and three days before uh, Jesus came, they made a sound. They went, la, 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 a big bass sound. And when they did it, only the earthworms could hear it. But when the earthworms heard it, they said to themselves, the rocks are getting ready to cry out. Two days before Jesus came to Jerusalem, the tenor rocks joined in and they went, la, 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 la. And this time, the mice walking on the surface of the land could hear it too. In fact, it made them go up on their toes and their little tails stood straight up as they thought, the rocks are getting ready to cry out. The day before Jesus came to Jerusalem, the alto rocks went, la, 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 la. And this time, the cats of Jerusalem heard it, and they arched their backs up, and some of them even danced around in circles as they said to themselves, the rocks are getting ready to cry out. The day that Jesus came to Jerusalem, early in the morning, the soprano rocks joined in and they sang la 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 and this time all the children of Jerusalem could hear the rocks singing and they thought to themselves the rocks are getting ready to cry out so they went and they found their parents and they tugged on their sleeves and said mama papa you're not going to believe it but the rocks are getting ready to cry out and the parents said no no my darling that's not what's going on there's a crowd growing outside let's go out and see and so they went out together to the roads and what should they see but Jesus coming down the road and the, all the rocks were warming up and all the children heard them and then suddenly suddenly it was the disciples of Jesus who began to cry out and they cried out and said Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord And then the Pharisees came and said to Jesus, won't you stop your disciples from crying out? And Jesus said, if I should have them stop, even the rocks and the stones would be ready to cry out. So that's what I'm out here doing. I'm, I'm listening to the rocks. I'm listening to see if the rocks are warming up to cry out again. And the reason is simple. Ever since Christ came to Jerusalem, the disciples of Jesus 
have a gathering at least once a week, and they have been crying out. Uh, some cry out with an amen, and some cry out with a hallelujah. And it, sometimes uh, they cried out in beautiful chants, Kyrie eleison. And sometimes today even they cry out in four-part harmony, just like the rocks were ready to do. And then COVID came, and it covered the whole world. And for a while, people couldn't gather together like they had done for 2,000 years. And so the churches sent out messages over the internet so that people in their own homes uh, could still gather together to worship God. And they watched preachers doing devotions, and they watched musicians playing songs. But then something strange happened when they at home should have been joining in worship. Instead, they sat still like a rock. And so now I'm checking to see if the rocks are warming up, if they're getting ready to cry out praises to God, if the people, the disciples of Jesus, have forgotten during this time how important it is to cry out your praise and love to God even when you are home and by yourself. Like I said, this is a story that my imagination told me, so you don't have to believe that it's true. I'm only asking you to imagine what if it were true? 